Scientology claimed to be the fastest growing religion here on planet Earth. Now, as we all know, numbers don't lie. So in this video, we're going to look at the church's very own numbers that they have supplied in financial documents to see if their claims hold up as true. Stay tuned. start by giving you guys a little bit of context here. The Church of Scientology applied for charity status here in the United Kingdom in 1999 and were denied tax exempt status. This is because when you apply to be a charity here in the UK, the onus is on the applicant to prove that you exist for the public benefit. Here in the UK, even if you are a religious organisation, you still have to prove that you are providing benefit to the general public and to your parishioners, and that is something the Church of Scientology failed to do so they were denied in 1999 charity status and so the way they operate here in the UK is a little bit questionable to say the least. The Church of Scientology operate here in the UK under a shell company called the Church of Scientology Religious Education College Incorporated or COSRECI for short which is an Australian based charity it is registered with the Charity Commission over in Australia um, but it is very clear that they only operate this business through premises here in the UK. So all UK Scientology organisations operate through COSRECI, whether that be St Hill, the headquarters down in Sussex, or London Org, or Birmingham, Manchester, and so on. They all operate through this registered charity in Australia. Now, part of the requirements of being a charity in Australia is registering and filing your financial documents every single year and they have a really telling and specific breakdown of not just how much money you're bringing in but how much money you're spending and exactly on what. I'm going to be doing a video very soon breaking down these documents but for this particular video I'm looking at Scientology's claim to be the fastest growing religion on the planet. Although Scientology don't publish the total number of Scientologists they claim to have here specifically in the United Kingdom, it is possible to estimate how many Scientologists we have here. In 2001, 1,781 British people answered the religion question on the census claiming to be Scientologists. This number grew in 2011 to 2,418 and the most recent data we have is from the 2021 census in which 1,854 people claim to be Scientologists here in the UK. This means over the last 10 years, the number of people identifying as Scientologists here in the UK has shrunk. Now, you have to consider the census is something you have to fill out as a UK resident. It is a legal requirement. It is punishable if you do not fill out your census form. But this particular religion question isn't mandatory. So there are going to be a small percentage of people who um, are Scientologists or identify as Scientologists that didn't put that on their census form. Regardless of whether the question is mandatory to answer or not, the number has gone down, which indicates not expansion in growth like Scientology claim, but actually the Scientology is shrinking. Something also to consider is the financial documents that I mentioned earlier that COSRECI provides to the Australian government, the Australian Charity Commission. In these documents, the Church of Scientology reveal how much money they have made each year in revenue, what they've spent it on and so on. And they very clearly show a gradual decline in overall revenue since 2017. That means over the last six years, the amount of money to the Church of Scientology here in the UK is bringing in through the doors is slowly decreasing. I did a little bit of maths to find out exactly what this means and how much it costs, therefore, as an estimate to be a Scientologist here in the UK. Now, in COSRECI's financial documents that they submit to the Australian Charity Commission, they also have to give a number of how many volunteers they have for their organisation, which they have for the last few years claimed to be 700. I personally think that is a massive overinflation, that is an estimate. There are definitely not that many Scientology staff members here in the UK, but let's take Scientology's word for it and let's go with their number of 700 volunteers. So that's 700 staff members, uh, Sea Org members of St Hill, London, Birmingham and so on. These are people who generally are going to be receiving servicing for free 
and they're not going to be earning a huge wage and therefore donating huge amounts of money to the Church of Scientology. So what I've done is I've subtracted that 700 from the 2021 census data, which means overall, according to the census and Scientology's data on how many volunteers they have, that means there's an estimated 1,100 paying public Scientologists here in the UK. Now, if you look at how much money the Church of Scientology Religious Education College Incorporated that's a mouthful. <laughs> if you look at how much they bring in each year and then divide that by the total number of public Scientologists, we are left with the number $20,618.99. That, therefore, is the average amount per person donated to the Church of Scientology in the year 2021 here in the United Kingdom. So how much does it cost to be a Scientologist? Well, on average, using their own data that they have supplied, $20,000 a year. Now, of course, these numbers are just averages. Of course, there are going to be some people donating a hell of a lot more, and there are going to be a lot of people who are donating a hell of a lot less. But it gives you an idea of roughly how much money it costs to be a Scientologist. Now, I'm going to throw up on the screen right now the graph of the revenue that the Church of Scientology have reported to the Charity Commission in Australia. As you can see, there is a downward declining slope. There is a trend. The amount of money being brought in by Scientology has been decreasing for six years. The next filing is due later this month, so I will keep my eye out for their next set of financial documents and of course we'll be doing a video on it soon. But I think that this goes to show that when you look at the facts and figures and the numbers, Scientology doesn't appear to be growing. It doesn't appear to be the fastest growing religion on the planet as they claim. In fact, it appears Scientology is shrinking at a rate of knots. There are less Scientologists here than there were 10 years ago. In fact, there are less Scientologists in the UK than there have been in a very, very long time. Scientology is on the decline, and that is only further evidenced by the number of buildings they have bought here in the UK that are standing empty, ready to be renovated. The Church of Scientology bought buildings in Manchester, Bournemouth and Poole, and Sunderland, ready to renovate into new, ideal organisations. These buildings have stood empty for many, many years, and it's starting to annoy the local residents. BBC News wrote an article earlier this month about how the building they bought Ten, over 10 years ago is standing vacant and local residents are not exactly happy that the Church of Scientology have just left this building to fall into a state of disrepair. For an organisation that claims to be expanding and growing faster than any other religion on planet Earth, why can't they scrape together the funds and the resources needed to renovate these buildings and pack them full of paying public and parishioners? If you look at the Church of Scientology in London, which is the first ideal org that opened here in the UK, yes, it's a lovely, beautiful building that has been renovated, but it is standing empty. I spoke to somebody recently who was on staff less than two years ago here at London Org, and they claim the total number of staff in the building was about 25. That's 25 staff members looking after their dissemination, their marketing, the delivery of courses. They claimed there were only a maximum of four auditors in the entire org. That's four people delivering Scientology auditing, the key practice in Scientology that is expected to get you to the state of clear and beyond. When there are only four people delivering auditing at London Org, I don't understand how they can claim to be expanding faster than anybody else. There were certainly more auditors on staff when I worked at London Org, so this just goes to show that the numbers don't add up. Thanks for watching guys, if you want to support the channel you can buy me a coffee using the link down below, but the best way of supporting is actually engagement. If you press the like button, if you subscribe, share, comment, all that sort of stuff, it helps push the video out to more people. So thank you for your continued support and I'll see you guys on the next one.